I was born in Cleveland, and growing up in Cleveland, there wasn't much of a, at least I felt like a presence of Chabad, and maybe even the opposite. I I really kind of did not gravitate that way, and grew up more of like in a Litvisha setting, which is what Cleveland Cleveland's right next to Tells, and Tells has a a presence in Cleveland. So growing up in the Litvisha world, uh, I just kind of went through the motion. I didn't necessarily um, feel connected. Um, I had good rabbim. I had good teachers. Um, I went through a great system. But Judaism to me up until this point was um, was um, intellectual um, more than, let's say, practical. I always kind of felt you know, there, that there was something missing. I was always looking for something more. So I, I wanted to kind of maybe tap into my heritage. And my heritage is Satmar, but Satmar is also, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's hard to just tap into Satmar. So it didn't seem practical, um, but uh, whatever. It wasn't like high on my priority list to like, oh, I need to identify myself. It wasn't, you know, it just kind of came about. Um, until uh, the Alexander Rebbe from uh, the Alexander Rebbe from Eretz Yisrael, his brother moved to Cleveland about 15 years ago, and I started attending his shul. I really enjoyed it. Would go there daily, um, especially on Shabbos, and um, got close with the family. And um, eventually, um, one of the sons gave me a, uh, a biography on the Rebbe. And he said, you would enjoy this. So I said, uh, okay, let me uh, take a look at it. And almost as a joke, I decided to read it. Um, and I was caught. I just loved it. I ate it up. I had to like hear all these stories and started watching the videos, um, the stories online. And I was just, I was taken by it. Now, the Alexander Rebbe also has uh, a son-in-law who comes in from time to time. His name's Avrami. And he uh, exposed me to the Rebbe's sikhus. And those are the talks that uh, the Rebbe would t speak about in the Parsha or a Yom Tif, a holiday. And that, to me, was game-changing. Once I was able to tap into how the Rebbe, the Lubavitch Rebbe, thought uh, and his Torah, it changed my life. It just... Um, and so much so that... The years prior to this climax, in a way, um, I would have, I was very into learning Chumash on a weekly basis. I would write notes of different questions I had on that week's parsha or on the holiday. And most of the time, I didn't get really great answers. I would, you know, go around in the yeshiva to Rabbeim. I would kind of ask them what they thought. And it was never, something taken too seriously in, in my opinion. Um, I, I didn't think that I had uh, validation and I uh, kind of shelved it, my, my notes. So going through the sikhus from the Rebbe, the Rebbe literally almost weekly would ask questions that I had in my notes and offer answers, not just answers, not just to like get away from it, but to really delve into this and to take it seriously. And that, and not only that, the validation, but how to change your life on a practical level from a day-to-day -day standpoint. And it just, it just changed my life. It brings to light a lot of Judaism. It, 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 it meshes the physical and spiritual world and it, it creates a certain joy and, um, appreciation um, and uh, just like a cohesiveness in, in, in your life. And uh, it just brings to life 
everything that a person does, whether it's work or it's family, it's not it, it, like it's not a, a stumbling block for your uh, achievements anymore. The family, the business is a part of your achievement. That is your, that is your purpose.